Hi, in this video, we will cover multi-VM autonomous database on Exadata Clouded Customer. In this demo, I will demonstrate how to navigate where to create multiple autonomous Exadata VM clusters and Exadata database VM clusters on a single Exadata Clouded Customer. How to create autonomous Exadata VM cluster on Exadata Clouded Customer and how to configure the automatic maintenance schedule. Now, let's take a look. On your OCI console, open the navigation menu. Under Oracle Database, click Exadata Clouded Customer. Click Exadata Infrastructure and click the name of the Exadata Infrastructure for which you want to create your autonomous VM cluster. The Infrastructure Details page displays information about the selected Exadata Infrastructure. Multiple VM clusters can be created on the same Exadata Cloud Customer Infrastructure. Each VM cluster can be used for either Autonomous Database or Exadata Database Service. To create Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster, click Create Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster. In the Create Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster page, enter the following information. Specify the compartment in which the Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster will be created. Provide a display name that helps you easily identify the infrastructure resource. Select an Exadata infrastructure. And since we are creating the autonomous Exadata VM cluster resource on Exadata Cloud Customer, then we need to select a VM cluster network. Next is to configure your autonomous VM cluster resources. Set the maximum number of autonomous container databases for the autonomous VM cluster. Set OCPU count. Select the memory per OCPU allocated for the autonomous databases in the autonomous VM cluster. Allocate storage for local backups. Check this option to configure the Exadata storage to enable local database backups. Then provide the data storage allocated for the autonomous database creation in the autonomous VM cluster. Next is to configure the automatic maintenance. Click Modify Maintenance. Click on Specify a Schedule. Under Maintenance Months, specify at least one month for each quarter during which the Exadata infrastructure maintenance will take place. You can specify which week of the month maintenance will take place. You can also specify the day of the week on which the maintenance will occur. You can also specify the hour which the maintenance run will begin. And under the lead time, specify the minimum number of weeks ahead of the maintenance event you would like to receive a notification message. Then click Save Changes. Then choose the license type you wish to use. For the advanced options, you can set the time zone or optionally apply tags. Then click Create Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster. The Autonomous Exadata VM Cluster appears with the status of provisioning. Once the resource successfully provisioned, icon changes from yellow to green and the status will change from provisioning to available.